When you draw, you're designing. For any time you put a mark on a sheet of paper, that forms a design. And if you move that mark to another part of the paper, it changes the design. So today we want the design and we want to be boss of our picture. We want our pictures to be whatever we want them to be. Now whoever made this picture was certainly boss of his picture. Look at those crazy critters. I haven't seen them for a long time. Some do not exist. These don't. But anything can happen in a draw land. So you can draw anything you want and you can place it on any part of your picture. Today, if we have a theme for the program, it's being boss of your own picture. And that's what I want you to think about, bossing your own picture. I'm gonna give you some ideas of how to boss your picture, but I want you to know that you can change those and move things around, and you need not draw the way I draw. I'm making demonstrations. If you wish to follow me, that's all right too. Now, how do you design a picture? First, we think, I think, what am I going to have in my picture? Then the next thing I think about, where is it going to be? When I decide where it's going to be, that tells me if there's going to be trees or rocks or buildings or what's going to be around it. Then I think of the most important thing in my picture. And I usually begin with it first and then I build around my picture. That's one good way you can follow. You may have other ways later, but that's one good way to start. Now, in order to be boss of our picture, we have to have something to picture. Would you rather draw vases and flowers, or would you rather draw a gorilla? Oh, okay, we'll draw a gorilla then. So if you're drawing along with me, somewhere near the center of your page, as I place my hand, and maybe a little off from the center, I'm going to put the large gorilla, then I'll put a baby gorilla here, then I'll surround it with trees and vines and all kind of brush and plant life. So I'm designing, I'm bossing my own picture. Up here to start with, I'm going to put a shape, I'll draw a shape, something like the head of a male gorilla. And here will be his face, and here's the crown that sticks up high on his head. So I start out with that simple line, going up around and here forming this shape. Next, I want to put the body. Now the gorilla has a very short neck and large shoulders. So if you're drawing along, and you can draw a shape something like this, almost egg shape, but a little bit flat on top. Then next we go down here and down this side, and these are the outside lines of his arms. And the gorilla has very long arms. Draw that arm, and then I'll come across to the other side and put in the other arm. And here would be the chest. Now notice I don't press too hard. I'm just making outlines because I'm designing and I'm being boss of my picture and I want the lines to be placed about where I want them, but I may change them a little later since I'm the boss and that's the way I want you to feel of your picture. Now the gorilla has rather short legs and you would see the outside of the upper and lower leg here and the hands would be down here. Now that's pretty much the shape or the proportion. Proportion means one shape compared to another shape. So the head is about this shape and this size compared to the body. Now I'm going to turn my pencil, and if you were using a crane, you could do the same thing. And I'll move up here to draw the eyebrow. A heavy eyebrow, a heavy brow. And we'll have lines going around here where the hairline starts. Then the gorilla has deep set eyes, so you don't see too much of the eye there.
and large nostrils shaped something like this, almost in a heart shape. Coming down to a large mouth. Now those are the simple beginning lines. I haven't added the shading yet in the dark. Now I'll darken in the nostril like that. And the eyes are deep set. So we have a darkness here. And you can see by the shape of the mouth that this is a happy gorilla, which is okay. If you want to, or you can make them angry since you're boss of your picture. Very small ears. And now, with the face and the shape set, I'm ready to add some fur. We call it texture, surface. And here, up on the gorilla's head, you have a lot of fur, something like that. And as he gets older, he gets some side whiskers here, something like this. And now I'm using a crayon on the side because I can get more hair. You know, the gorilla, they have a woolly or long hair. 